One of my favorite quotes from the Book of the Courtier is, Outward beauty is a true sign of inner goodness. I like this quote only because I know how false this can be. Someone can be beautiful on the outside and harsh and cruel on the inside. Similarly, in relating it to familiar terms, someone can be a certain way online and a completely different person in person. Members of the court or the courtiers and during the Renaissance period had to um, gain a number of good traits to contribute to the overall image of the monarchy and for political authority. Similarly, I think that we gain a number of good traits or try to find good posts to post on our Facebook or Instagram to portray a certain image online. And sometimes, just like the courtiers, it's a front. Although some of our time online can be a good thing, most of it can also be used to portray artificial images or artificial appearances and can also um, be dehumanizing each other to a single online profile. One example of this is Tinder, which most of us, I'm sure, know of. If you don't, it's a popular new app in which you're presented with a series of photos of singles in your area, and you can either swipe right to like them or swipe left to not like them. And if you like someone and they like your picture back, you can immediately start chatting with them. The problem with this, I think, is that we are dehumanizing them to a, that person on your phone to a single swipe. They become a swipe right or they become a swipe left and they become a disposable good. Now, I don't want to dismiss online communication and interaction as a completely negative thing. Online communication and interaction can actually connect us in ways that we have never been able to before. For example, my friend using the same app, Tinder, is actually getting married to the man she met on Tinder next month. She has a cute profile picture on her Facebook page that says, roses are red, violets are blue, I'm so glad I swiped right for you. <laughs> so as you can see, there are advantages and disadvantages to online communication. This is there was advantages and disadvantages for the courtiers in creating an esteemed image. They had to gain a certain image for the political authority, but they also used that image and the traits that they gained to serve other people. And I think that it's important that we use our image online and even in person to um, create an image that will not only serve other people, but it will um, be able to, we will have less artificial images online and in person. We can create a web that is connecting each other rather than dehumanizing each other, but it's definitely up to us. Thank you.